These are the horses for the 10th race. Two-year-old Colton Gelding, standard bread pace, $46,314. The horses, the one, Alley's Western. J.R. Ramsburg of Frederick, Maryland. Dan Altmeyer, Washington, Pennsylvania. Altmeyer trains. Tom Sells on the one. Alley's Western. Number two, ain't no stopping him. J.M.P. Jelly on Westchester, Pennsylvania. Roll the dice stable. Joe Holloway trains. Jack Moise of the two. Ain't no stopping him. Number three, Roman Spur. Roy Davis, Meadowlands. Dick Stellings trains and drives the three. Roman Spur. The four, Caviar Boston. Judith and Clarence Chaffee Jr., Vienna, Virginia. Jim Arley Jr. trains. David Miller. The four, Caviar Boston. Number five, Hard Rock Cafe. Denise Dennis of Indianapolis, Indiana. Jeff Edwards trains and drives. The five, Hard Rocket Cafe. Number six, Comic Genius. Jack Darling Stables, Daniel Smith of Ontario. Jack Darling trains. John Campbell, the six, Comic Genius. Number seven, Pickup Artist. Ed Mullinex of Amherst, Ohio. Kelly Donald trains. Dave Hoff, the seven, Pickup Artist. Number eight, I win. Joe and Joanne Thompson of Paoli, Pennsylvania, the lessees. Ross Krogan trains. Luke Ouellette drives the eight. I win. And number nine, Sam Francisco. John Howard, Jay Corey, Morgantown, West Virginia. Joe Holloway trains. Mike LaChance drives the nine. Sam Francisco. Standard bread. Two-year-old Colton Gelding Pacers. In behind the starting gate. The gate swings into the stretch and... Here they come. They're up and pacing. Ain't no stopping him. Goes right out for the lead. Roman Spur on the outside. Alley's Western takes a seat. Roman Spur is off stride. Racing to the back side. Ain't no stopping him with the lead. Alley's Western is second. Up on the outside. Comic Genius racing third. Inside fourth. Down the back side. San Francisco. Back on the outside. Roman Spur now fifth. Racing sixth. Caviar Boston. Opening quarter 28 seconds. He of the turn and going to the three eighths mark. Moving up on the outside. I win. On the inside as they race out of the turn. Into the lane first time. Coming to the halfway point. On top of the field as they come over to the half. It's Jack Moisev showing away with ain't no stopping him. On the outside second. Comic Genius now going the long mile. Alley's Western getting the trip on the inside. As they race around the turn, off a half, 57 and 4, 29 and 4, second quarter, ain't no stopping him, opens up. Alley's Western racing second, the outside, Comic Genius third, looking for daylight. I win as they race down the back side. Moving up on the inside, Caviar Boston, closing ground, San Francisco as well, going to the three quarter mark, 126. Round that final turn, getting away from everybody. Ain't no stopping him. And Jack Moiseev opening up now by nine lengths. Alley's Western racing second. Closing on the outside. That's San Francisco. Down the stretch they come. Ain't no stopping him today in Delaware. One, 54. Because ain't no stopping me heads into the winner's circle. In the winner's circle, number two, ain't no stopping him. Ten paid jelly, Westchester, Pennsylvania, roll the dice table. Joe Holloway, the trainer. Jack Moiseev, in the sulky. To your Copa Western Hanover, Suave Almerhurst. Lifetime mark, one, 54. Final half, 56 and one. Final quarter in 28. And it's a national season's record. To your old pacing Colts on a half mile track. 
ain't no stopping him. Gets the job done here, and you know, with a two-year-old, once you fire him up, it's tough to shut him down, and that uh, really hurt comic genius and John Cambo tried to drop into the two-hole, and Tom Sells went to the whip with uh, Allies Western to keep him out just past the quarter. We'll take a closer look on the uh, replay momentarily. Ain't no stopping him, and uh, Jackie Moe winding up at the winner's circle in the first division of the standard bread for two-year-old Colt and Gelding Pacers. Here are those 10th race prices.